Angel DiCarlo of Grand Design RV here with Grand Design Product Manager for Solitude, Rob Groover, and we are talking about the 2020 Solitude 390RK. That's a rear kitchen, and Rob, by having a rear kitchen, it provides a whole lot of storage as we're gonna show right here. It absolutely does. So the, the big benefit of having not only a rear kitchen, but an elevated rear kitchen is what you see right here. Um, you have 11 foot, six inches of, of length of storage in here. If you want to come walk around this side, you actually have a 800 pound capacity, more ride slide Zilla storage tray, making it easier to get to your things. Look at that. That's unbelievable. I mean, I can hop on in here. Look at this. You can get a full, uh, full size Sicilian in here. I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly in. I'm, I'm sitting in here. Yep. That's how much storage is in this. Yeah, this is fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. people are going to love this. You can slide me back out. I mean, this comes with so many advantages and you can, you can do so many things by having this, can't you? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people, we have this in a couple other floor plans as well, but uh, a lot of people that like to kayak and things like that, you don't have to mess around with racks on your rear ladder or trying to put them on the roof or things like that. Um, a lot of people put bicycles in here as well. It's a great place for that. If you don't put bicycles in here, uh, we actually have a 3,000 pound capacity hitch in the rear. So depending on state laws, uh, whatever state that you're in, uh, you can either double tow or just use it as a receiver hitch for bike racks and things like that. Yeah, and so just keep an eye on your state laws for all that and what you're allowed to do exactly. But you know, in addition to all this, Rob, if if you want storage, we got even more storage. As we bring everyone out to the front, it's like it's not just rear storage. This pass-through storage is incredible as well. I mean, you don't get this type of storage in places. Yeah, the nice thing about this is, like with all the solitude floor plans out there, you'll notice you don't have any exposed plumbing, any exposed pipes, any exposed electrical, things like that. We work really, really hard to make this as clean as we possibly can. Uh, both storage compartments also have heat blowing directly into them, which a lot of the guys out there aren't doing today. And something else new that we just went to is uh, motion sensing lights. Uh, that's gonna be in the rear pass through and here. So right when you open your door, your light, if it's dark at night, obviously, you open your door, light pops on and you're good to go. All right, I'm already sold and we haven't even gotten inside, which is the best part, shall we? Yes, yes we shall. Uh, this is gonna be really neat to show everybody the inside of this amazing rear kitchen unit. All right, RK stands for rear kitchen. This is an elevated rear kitchen here in the 390 RK and it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it, Rob? Yeah, I think so at least. I'm a little biased, but that's all right. <laughs> um, the main goal with this floor plan is we wanted to actually give you a, a model that there is some separation between the different rooms. We hear customer feedback all the time that says, you know, I'm in my theater seats, I'm watching my TV, but my wife's cooking or my husband's cooking and I, I just feel like I'm watching TV in my kitchen. So this gives you separation. I mean, when you're in your kitchen, you're in your kitchen. When you're in your living room, you're in your living room. Uh, but at the same time, if you have guests or your husband or wife is on the lower level, you can still communicate. Yeah. You know, you're not completely out of the action, so to speak. So other benefits of a rear kitchen is just look around. I mean, you have massive amounts of countertop. You have windows on all three sides, letting all that natural light in. You have a, a, two, a two person bar right here, kind of a pub style. Um, this hole right here actually gives you the ability to set your laptop up here. There's oh, USB and 110 connections okay. under here. And then the other nice benefit of a rear kitchen is it gives you a massive amount of storage. I mean, you have huge pots and pan storage, crock pots, all that sort of thing right there. Um, this is a 110 outlet and dual USB connection as well. When not in use, you can just slide it down and tuck it away. Massive stainless steel sink. Um, another nice thing with a rear kitchen, elevated rear kitchen, I should say, um, is for people that maybe aren't the tallest, you have access to everything. <laughs> uh, you can reach your dinner right. plates and glasses. This is, this is very easy for those of us who are uh, vertically challenged. Oh, there you uh, go. Great but, way to put it. But again, another thing we're emphasizing, storage, storage, storage. Storage and outside. countertop. Storage we and countertop. We see it inside. And like you said, um, all this natural light is, is absolutely gorgeous. All right. Uh, we've seen the rear kitchen and then what that provides is a beautiful living room as well. So let's uh, let's check that out. Well, one last thing I'd like to show you as oh, well, Angelo, yes. if you don't mind, uh, is this pantry. The pantry is absolutely oh, unbelievable. Yes. So you have, and it's all lit as well. So you can actually see what the heck's going on in there. And then on the lower level, you have four massive pullout drawers. So like we said, storage, 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 storage. even in the, in the pantry, we're getting, we're getting a little bit of everything and that's absolutely awesome. All right. Uh, now we're ready to check out the uh, living room. All right, as we head now into the living room, and Rob, one of the first things I noticed in here 
is an absolutely amazing featured wall. Yeah, I don't know another RV that's doing this right now. This is actually a reclaimed teak feature wall. Uh, we work really, really hard on. It's actually an import out of India, um, but it's all genuine, it's all real wood. Um, again, something unique to this that I've, I literally have never seen. Well, where did you guys come up with the idea to, to put this together? We worked really close with one of our vendors, one of our suppliers, and uh, just in production, uh, because this wasn't an easy thing to do, to accomplish. Uh, we didn't want to put anything fake up there, you know, that's supposed to look like teak, but it's really plastic or foam or whatever that may be. We wanted the genuine real deal. Um, so we just, yeah, we worked really hard with production, we worked really hard with our vendor and uh, we were able to figure it out. Uh, another thing I noticed in here is there's a lot of seating area. We've got, we got spots for, for six people to sit extremely comfortably here. So this is, this is really nice to have this type of space in here. Absolutely, absolutely. So these are actually both height of beds as well, but what people really like is that cross conversation seating. Yeah, absolutely. So they don't wanna be sitting beside each other and- We'll show them exactly what we mean. Here's the cross conversation. There right? we go, just like this. They don't wanna have four people sitting in a row. So if you need to talk to the person on the end, you have to do this kind of thing and and people this has been really really popular in a couple of our other models as well yeah it doesn't feel like we're on top of each other there's there's space here i did notice as i'm looking down there's no uh there's no carpet is there yeah yeah that's something that we just uh we spent months working on trying to figure that out uh, we've been getting a request for the last couple of years or so and uh it's just it's cleaner it looks cleaner it looks more residential um and it's easier to clean and it's something that customers, you know, on our, on our upper decks, on our bedrooms, uh, about a year and a half ago, we went to all Leno up there. It went over huge. People really, really like that. I mean, you're camping, you're outside, you're bringing dirt in, bringing so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be in all of our living room slides and all of our solitude models now, that's gonna be a standard. All right, cool. Uh, let's check out the bathroom because it's got some unique features as well. Absolutely. All right, Rob, uh, obviously this is a beautiful feature here in the bathroom with these dual sinks, uh, starting off with that. Absolutely, yeah, again, this is one thing that's typically really, really lacking when it comes to fifth wheels in general, is countertop space. It's very rare that you see a dual sink. There are a couple out there, um, but this is something new to us uh, that we think our customers are really going to appreciate. Another nice feature about this is look how big this mirror is. I mean, this mirror is just absolutely massive. So, you know, if husband and wife or, or significant other are both sitting here brushing their teeth or whatever, they, can, they both have a mirror to look into. Another nice thing is you can actually click those lights off. This mirror is all backlit. So you can kind of use that as a nightlight um, when you go to bed. Something else that's really nice is this, this massive linen closet. And again, this is something that you typically don't get in most fifth wheel bathrooms. Yeah. But just check that out, you know, <laughs> towels, shampoos, and you know, well, storage, just your bathroom storage, essentials, yeah. Storage. storage, 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 again, absolutely, absolutely. And then, and then of course, you got, uh, we talked earlier about those that are vertically challenged. Yep. Uh, now, if you're, uh, if you got a lot of vertical and yep. you're tall, we got the benefit here in the, the sunken shower. Absolutely, and this is something else that is uh, exclusive to Grand Design. Uh, we worked with months to custom build this shower. Uh, I'm six foot on the button and you can see how much head height I still have. Perfect. You know, a lot of guys that are six foot and over, you know, they're taking a shower, the water stream is spraying them in the chest, it's difficult to wash your hair, your head's up in the skylight. Um, and again, this is something exclusive to us that we worked with a vendor to, to do custom. Awesome, let's see what's next. All right, we're in the bedroom now and I'm in the closet. Uh, it shows you how much storage there is in here. Uh, and we talk about all the storage in this place, but, but it continues here in, in the bedroom. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is something that we started the Solitude brand with and we've just kept incorporating it into new models as well. So not only do you have a lot of hanging space here, as you can tell, but we actually recess these shelves into the front cap. Uh, that's for shoe storage, things that you fold, that kind of thing. Um, something else that has been really popular with our customers that we incorporated into the 390 is this panor panoramic window above the bed. That's really nice. Yeah, it just lets that natural light in. So oftentimes, fifth wheel bedrooms feel like you're in a cave. Um, you also get the windows on the slide out end walls, uh, so you get that nice cross ventilation at night. So again, you're talking storage, storage, storage. Something else that we've done. Look at that. All wide open, super, super clean. Um, a lot of times you lift this up and it's just a mess with the, uh, some other manufacturers. So again, you have kind of a jewelry, jewelry tray sitting here. You can store shoes down here. This is something else that was ex is ex exclusive to us is the uh, pull-out ottoman. So this is just a nice place. 
sit down, put on your shoes and socks, that kind of thing. It also lifts up and you have, again, storage, storage, storage <laughs> under here as well. Something so I'm just wondering where else we can get more storage in this place, Rob. I mean, I don't feel like we've gotten enough of it. Well, we try. Um, <laughs> something else that we came up with not too long ago that's exclusive to us is this pop-up dresser lid. So that's a great place to, to keep your valuables, cell phones, that sort of thing. And if somebody ever gets into your, into your unit when you're not around, they'll never know it's there. It's completely hidden. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, we got the washer and dryer prep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you want a washer dryer, this will accommodate a stackable washer dryer. Um, your connections are all right here. They're on two separate circuits or just use it again for additional storage. You got a hanging rod, two shelves down here. And overall, Rob, just an awesome unit. I imagine you guys in the Solid 2 team are extremely proud of. Well, thank you. Uh, we worked really, really hard on this one. Um, took us a long time to get this one all put together. So yeah, we're, we're really excited to get it out there, get it uh, in front of customers and get it on dealers' lots and see what it'll do. And when will it be out on the dealers' lots for everyone to get to see? Uh, we're gonna start building these. My first production run is early to mid-August. Um, so they should start hitting dealers' lots by the end of August to early September, 2019. All right, there you go. Uh, get on out to your local dealer. Check out the 390 RK from Solitude. You're gonna absolutely love it. For Rob Groover, I'm Angel DiCarlo for Grand Design RV.